ChatGPT versus Grok. We're gonna see which one of them can make a better Minecraft add-on from scratch. Rules are simple, 45 minutes on the clock. Let's start with ChatGPT. Make me a Minecraft behavior pack for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. I think Bedrock Edition is probably the better option for AI since Mojang has a lot more documentation there than Java. I want this pack to add a new tool to the game with a crafting a recipe and a unique ability. We got it on thinking. All right, 45 minutes, time starts now, and go. Now, ChatGPT was the previous champion last time, beating Gemini by a mile, but all of you in the comments were telling me to use Grok, which I've never even touched before, so we'll see what it can spit out. It's always using some good sources, I gotta say. Last time I made the behavior pack bones for ChatGPT like this, which is really just the file structure. I think that messed it up more than it helped, so I'm gonna let it do everything on its own, and hopefully that means we can get a better pack in the end. It gave us some code and that only took like three and a half minutes it's adding the gale dagger feather plus iron ingot plus stick right click to use a dash forward and knock back nearby mobs with a cool down wait this sounds sick that sounds so unique too i've never heard of anything like this it's given us everything i'm going to copy the code over and we'll take a look at the more interesting parts of it the gale dagger item i'll copy this over and we'll take a look at this because this might actually be cool now i don't know too much about this but it looks good all right the recipe we'll copy this over this is interesting mapping i've never made these so i don't know but it's kind of a weird way to code i guess in the script is the final folder so we'll copy this over and I think this is what will actually give us an ability so it's got 123 lines that's pretty impressive I'm gonna I'm not gonna pretend I know how this all works but it, hopefully it does right and then it's got everything for the resource pack as well copy that code down did it add a custom font or something what is this it's literally one line long maybe it's important we'll copy it over I guess it didn't make us a picture, so can you generate the item texture for me? Make it a 16 by 16. Okay, hopefully it's doing that. I wanna double check my folder structure to make sure I got this right. Okay, it has a download. Oh, okay, wait, look at this. It's kind of hard to see in the viewer, but I think that looks good. I think we're at least on the right path. In theory, we should be ready to test it, it says. That took about 15 minutes. That was setting everything up about 15 minutes. I think if this works first try, we might be able to really get something going here. Moment of truth. Oh, we have ChatGPT's pack here. Okay, activate, and then it's here in the behavior pack as well. Now, uh, last time we used these experimental APIs, I didn't really mention it this time, but I'm gonna turn them on just in case, because I don't think it could hurt. Oh, I'm excited. I really hope this works. 30 minutes on the clock. We could make something big here. Okay, we're in. I believe it was in equipment. Uh, maybe under swords? <gasps> oh, okay, it kind of got the naming wrong. It got it very wrong, but plus six attack damage. I'm not even sure I know what this is meant to do. Oh wait, it did say something about script APIs. So it's a good thing I turned that on. Maybe we should try crafting it first. I don't remember how. Here's the recipe, feather, iron ingot, and a stick like this. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, it'll even suggest it. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, wait, we'll, we'll compare it to some other items. The spear is plus three. Iron sword is six, so the dagger is on par with the sword. What were its other abilities? To dash forward and gust knockback nearby mobs with a cooldown. Let's see if it works. Oh, dude, if it gets this, we're going places with this. Okay, okay, okay. <gasps> no way, that actually worked? Oh, it's cooling down? How long does it cool down for? Okay, that can't be too long. Oh, and it took durability. I wanna see if it can knock back some nearby mobs. Okay, we got a, got a handful of mobs. I don't know if it did. I mean, maybe? Hold on, I need a better angle. I've got the item in hand. I think it is moving the mobs. I'm pretty sure it's doing something. It doesn't, it's not really like a big effect, but it's something that's kind of cool oh and there's one more thing it said we might be able to test can we enchant it it dashes when you try and open a menu huh so just general sword enchants yeah, that's pretty cool and yeah it looks like they work right so that's good all right honestly i wasn't expecting it to work so fast generation and testing only took um 25 minutes you know what we need to fix is uh this name, this is terrible. I'm gonna grab it a screenshot. When I hold the item, it gets this weird extra text by the name. Please fix. 
It's a simple fix, but it really makes it look more polished. Uh, yeah, no, it doesn't work. It's not really that big of a deal though, so maybe we'll just move on. You know what, one thing it got pretty good is the texture. Like maybe it doesn't sit perfectly where you would expect it to, but it's a lot better than it usually does. Still 15 minutes on the clock though. I think the next thing that we could try and make it do is add some variations like a stone or maybe a diamond variant that do different abilities of the dash. Whoa, that was a fast response. <laughs> okay, we have the stone variant and the diamond variant. It actually made the code shorter. It was 123 lines before. That's only 98. Okay, and then we just need these two textures. So we'll copy these over and let's see if it worked. Okay, I can craft the diamond dagger and the original gale dagger. Those look pretty good. I don't see the stone one. Oh, I grabbed the infested cobblestone, what? I feel like this is still a little anticlimactic, the dash. Actually, no, that's pretty hype. I wish it went upwards a little more, but it dashes very far forward. All right, I wanna be able to jump upwards though. Right now it'll only send you forwards. And that's kind of lame. I want to be able to use the dash ability to launch the direction I'm looking, not just forwards. We're looking at, ooh, four minutes? I think this is probably gonna be the final change. It wants to adjust the numbers to be lower, but that sounds kind of lame, so I might not do that. Oh wait, I never realized this. It has different cooldowns depending on the level you're at. That's kind of neat. Reload all. Now, before I show you what ChatGPT cooked up here, make sure you hit that hype button down below. Okay, okay. We have them. If I look upwards. Oh, <laughs> why that was, no, I'm dead. Well, so much for that. <laughs> Slash give water bucket. All right. This is the Gale Dagger clutch. That is so much height. Oh, dude, that is an insane amount of height. Okay, okay, right here. Oh, that's hype. Oh, oh, that's way too high, dude. This is, I see why ChatGPT was trying to change all these values. That does seem a little more fitting. Can you do it underwater? Dude, this is such a good way to travel your world, actually. I love this item. All right, I wanna see what the other ones look like. So the stone, that's still a lot of height. It is definitely a lot more noticeably bad compared to the diamond, though. Oh, I wonder how this interacts with Elytra. Oh, dude, this is so OP with Elytra. ChatGPT cooked with this one. I may have gotten a little carried away playing around with it at the end, but it's a hype item. I mean, look at this. You can just launch, oh, I'm dead. ChatGPT cooked with this one. It seems like a pretty original idea and they coded it very well. The naming, I just really could not figure out, but the actual mechanics, the dash ability, enchant ability and the crafting recipe it nailed everything the textures are fine you know what i didn't give chagipiti enough credit for after i asked it to make these adjustments so we could go up and down it changed the code it did it correctly but it had like the knowledge of the game and how it interacts to realize it should make these values lower that's some impressive awareness i gotta admit Overall, I would give it 8.5 out of 10. Let's see what Grok can cook up now. So I'm gonna give it the exact same prompt we gave ChatGPT. We'll give it the expert. I feel like that seems pretty fair. Time starts now and let's see what it does for us. It's looking on Microsoft.com, which is probably a good resource. Minecraft Digger, whatever that is. Okay, it got us something. It only thought for like two minutes. That's pretty good. <laughs> the expensive one. Two netherite ingots, an emerald, two sticks and a crafting table. It's an extremely fast mining speed on all pickaxe mineable blocks. Repairs with netherite ingots or another grok pickaxe. It, it's naming the pickaxe after itself, the grok pickaxe. Okay, when you hold it in your main hand, it grants haste too for faster mining and a glowing outline effect continuously. I have no idea how it could accomplish a glowing outline effect. It uses the netherite pickaxe and an icon, no resource pack needed. That's an interesting approach. All right, we'll copy that over. Wait, this is hilarious. It can mine bedrock at a speed of 0.2. Wait, Grok has a sense of humor apparently. It does random damage. Is this capability even 
even in the game. All right, next we'll add the recipes folder. It looks like a pretty typical pickaxe crafting recipe. Okay, I'm making the functions folder, and this is actually pretty interesting. It uses the tick.json, which means that it's just gonna be executing this function, which is this, every second, pretty much just a command. It's a very different approach because it's not using any scripts like ChatGPT was. It looks like that's everything I have to bring over. I'm pretty sure these got deprecated. So we might have to rework this, but we'll see. I'll pull up Minecraft and we'll see if it works. Here it is, activate. Croc tool pack is what it called it. And it says it doesn't need any resource pack. It asked for the holiday creator features, which has a script that the AIs like to use a lot. I'll give it all of these experimental features, but if it doesn't work, maybe I'll let it know it's missing or something. Uh oh, <laughs> I saw a bunch of errors just pop up. This is not a good sign. Oh, okay, it found something. Yeah, it's got no texture, which is not great, but maybe it mines. No, this is not mining. Okay, it looks like it's not doing anything right. All right, I'm gonna first let it know it didn't work. I was able to get the item with commands, but it didn't do anything. We got some error messages while logging in. I'm gonna try and capture those for Grok. Okay, grab a screenshot. We'll see if we can fix that. You guys had a lot of faith in Grok. You were glazing him in the comments. It's funny, you know, the Grok pickaxe idea, but it didn't work for us try like ChatGPTs. We still have 30 minutes on the clock though. That's plenty of time to figure something out, surely. I think it's replaced the functions with the script, which is interesting. And it looks like this is doing pretty much the exact same as its original commands version, where it's just giving you an effect if you're holding the items. So I've copied all the code in and it looks like it's using the beta APIs. <laughs> <laughs> and step six is to have no errors. So hopefully, <laughs> dude, this guy does have a sense of humor. I like it. <laughs> All right, let's load in and see if it actually works. Oh, it is bugging a lot. This is the frame rate. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure you can craft it before I try and tell it to fix the other errors. Oh, oh no, okay, wait, so it did craft the item. So yeah, it's supposed to be better than another netherite pick, which is very fast. I don't think it's doing anything. This is just your mining speed when you're holding nothing. All right, just one error left. I think it might like some positive reinforcement, so I'll tell it this is getting better. It keeps going back to this one source Minecraft digger. I kind of wonder what this is. I think it's just documentation on like a pickaxe. It's reading Twitter posts. I wonder if that's a good source. <laughs> the confidence of Grok is unparalleled. 100% fixed. I sure hope so, Grok. This is interesting. It replaced the tag with 28 explicit queries for all the blocks. There's got to be a better way, guys, right? It's also doing a very common, just confirming the script loads with a chat message. Please, Grok, I'm praying for you, brother. I had such high hopes. Yeah, still no texture. All right, moment of truth here. Oh! Okay, it does mine like a pickaxe. Mine's like a god tool on vanilla blocks. I mean, it's like it's fast, but it's no god tool. So I'm telling it that it mines correctly, but I'm not getting the haste. Man, Grok has five minutes left. And so far it's just made a worse netherite pickaxe. Okay, the Grok pickaxe. Oh, okay, so we're getting a chat message and I have haste. I went in survival mode just so we can see what the haste actually feels like. I mean, it's it's no god pickaxe like it really talked itself up to be, but it is fast. I'll give it that. Everything's working. I might try and get that texture pack working for it since we have uh, 30 seconds left. OK, timer just went off. So whatever this spits out, that's going to be the final thing. So I made its final change, copy that code over. The timer, it's out of time. All right, this is the final add on Grok made. I've implemented all of the changes it wanted. We can craft it, I believe. Yeah, okay, so <laughs> it looks a little silly because it's just empty, but you do craft something. Item.grok pack grok pickaxe so it kind of messed up there oh you know what? that's actually nice it doesn't show you on the right side like any other effect would and it mines pretty fast it's no god pickaxe like it kept saying one thing i forgot to check is whether or not we can enchant it it said that it should enchant like a pickaxe and actually yeah that looks correct yeah i mean yeah it's pretty basic i feel like its idea wasn't nearly as ambitious as ChatGPT. because i mean they just wanted to make a pickaxe that mines fast and gives you haste ChatGPT, on the other hand produced these it kind of messed the name up a little bit but they actually do what they were meant to do and i think the idea of having just a typical sword that you can use its dash ability 
is pretty hype, honestly. ChatGPT absolutely dominated Grok, guys. But leave your vote down in the comment below. Whichever one gets the most likes, that's the next AI I'll try this with. But anyways, make sure you hit that hype button down there. It really helps me out. And I'll see you in the next one.